Okay, so this is it. It's your last chance to say bye bye to Bay Bay. The panda will be bidding DC's National Zoo farewell next Tuesday. As WUSA 9 Sarah Cosmo reports, this giant panda has a huge fan base, so a lot of people are ready to celebrate. Bay Bay has captured our hearts with that face. They're just really majestic creatures. Yeah, they are majestic creatures. He's adorable, so I mean, what can you say? It's just <laughs> those ears are very cute. Because he's cute. And on this, his last weekend in D.C., he drew oohs and ahs as he devoured a special ice cake made out of his favorite treats. Juice, apples, sugarcane, and bamboo shoots. All the good stuff. The panda keepers say they're going to miss his personality most of all. He's very goofy. He's very playful. He loves to climb trees. He loves to tumble and roll around. Um, so they're just going to miss seeing him do that every day. Bebe was born at the National Zoo in 2015. Millions have watched him grow up via panda camp. Linda Nippers has been making regular trips from New Hampshire to see Bebe up close. And she couldn't miss his farewell week. We've actually been out here bright and early every morning this week <laughs> when it was a lot, lot quieter and got some nice, you know, quiet time with Bebe before he goes. Bebe will travel to China Tuesday as part of a conservation agreement now that he's old enough to breed. It's going to be an emotional goodbye for you. It is. What, what will you miss most? Just um, being able to see him on the panda cam anytime I want, whereas I won't see him. At the National Zoo, Sarah Consmo, WUSA 9. Way to get me emotional right there. All right, the zoo is holding farewell festivities in the run up to Bay Bay's departure. You can check out a full list of everything that's happening on our website at WUSA9.com.